Let's give you five reasons you're not selling your art so that you can make a living and potentially even thrive with a 10k month income. The first reason you're not selling your art is because you are trying way too hard. You are constantly thinking about selling your art. Every single Instagram post you make, it's on your mind. And because of that, you are drawing attention to the lack of sales you are experiencing. The reality is that people feel whatever you're experiencing. There's no hiding. Desperation smells and it smells really, really bad. It's not attractive at all. There was a study published in the Journal of Nonverbal Behavior back in the 70s where they took a series of images, over 100 images of smiling people and some smiles were fake and some smiles were real. And then they asked participants to rate which smiles were real and which smiles were fake. And to their surprise, people were able to distinguish real from fake with an 80% accuracy level. And so what does this mean? It means that there's a lot of nonverbal communication going on. People sense things, they feel things, they know when something is real and when something is fake. And so when you're making an Instagram post, they know it in the way you are writing. They know it in what type of post you are creating. They know it when you're moving, the way you move in a YouTube video and all of that stuff. People feel when you're trying too hard and they feel when you're desperate. The second reason you're not selling your art is because your price is way too high or way too low. In short, you don't know how to price your art. You just come out of college. You've been busy with art for a couple of years perhaps. You've never really tried to sell. And then you go on a blog post and you read that you have to copy paste the price point of an artist that has a similar CV and is at a similar age category and a similar style and all of that stuff. And then you just copy paste that price point. Now, in a world where most artists are not selling their art, this is just a very bad strategy. Copy-pasting failure will obviously lead towards failure. The problem with this strategy is that you don't know anything about this artist. You don't know where they come from. You haven't really done any research. You might see an artist that is 28, lives in the UK and has a price point of 5K. You don't actually know. Perhaps they have collectors pushing their art. Perhaps they have dealers or anything. Perhaps they have huge budgets to market their art. Perhaps they have a family connection or several family connections. A lot of rich people that are connected to the family that are able to pay 5K for a painting. Perhaps you just live in a completely different country. If you live in India and somebody is selling for 5K in the UK, you just copy pasting that price point is not the same. It's much easier to sell in the UK than it is to sell in India at a 5K price point. And so 5K price price point in the UK is an emerging artist. In India, that's an established artist. And so these are not comparable things. Now, the deeper underlying problem with all of this is that we live in the 21st century. There is no reason to not know how to price your art. You can go on Google and research it in a matter of minutes. You can go on YouTube and watch videos. Not all videos are good. Some are have, have really bad pricing strategies, but some of them are good. My videos, you can watch them. You don't have to choose whatever you want to watch but just know that you could potentially know how to price your art in the next 30 minutes there is no reason to not know these things the third reason you're not selling your art is because you are being too picky there's a good chance that there are people in your life that are interested in supporting you that are interested in your paintings that want to buy from you perhaps it's a family member perhaps several family members or friends or anything like that and you are not selling to them because you're saying to yourself well real artists don't only sell to their friends Real artists sell to collectors. Real artists sell to dealers. And although that is true to some extent, it's a bullshit mindset that you do not have to have. It's also a bullshit mindset that you don't need as a beginner artist. The reason why it's so important to just sell is because in the art world, you live in a world where people can invent their own opinions very easily. Everybody is doing that. The art world is full of subjectivity. And in that world, people can indeed invent their own opinions, but they cannot invent their own facts. And so you need to grab those facts as quickly as possible. And a sales track record is the best fact of them all. There is no discussion. If you have a sales track record, there are people willing to buy your work. That's it. And collectors know this, gallerists know this, and they search for the facts to make their decisions. And so you need a sales track record, it's that simple. To explain you the fourth reason you're not selling your art, let me ask you a question I read in Superfans by Beth Flynn. Let's say you're walking in the street and you find one cent lying on the ground. Are you going to pick it up? Now keep the answer in mind and let's answer a second question. Let's say there is 50 cents laying on the ground. Same scenario, are you going to pick it up? Third question, last question. Let's say there is $1 bill lying on the ground, just lying there. 
are you going to pick it up? Now, if I ask this question to people, most people don't pick up the one cent and almost everyone picks up the one dollar bill. And so what does this mean for artists? Well, it means that you have to be as close with your artworks, with your offer to that $1 bill. Most artists are very far away from that. Now, what does it mean being close to that $1 bill? Well, the reason people pick it up is because of two things. Number one, when they stumble upon it, they are surprised because it's not ordinary. It's something that is strange, something that is unusual, that is just lying there on the streets, being surprised. The second reason, the value proposition is so ridiculously obvious one dollar bill it's just free money of course they're gonna pick it up of course it's worth their time and so you as an artist want to create an offer that is so obviously ROI positive that they don't have a choice plus the first time they stumble upon you it needs to be different it needs to be strange it needs to be unusual so that they kind of go out of their default mode network type of behavior and can actually consider whether or not they want to buy your work most artists who are not selling their art are not like that one dollar bill they are beginner artists with average art and price it at $3,000. In that case, you're not $1 bill. You're more likely like a pile of shit that should be avoided. And so be aware of that <laughs> pile of shit. Uh, sorry for the tough laugh, but uh, sometimes it's necessary, you know? The fifth reason you're not selling your art is because you are not making yourself and your art available. People see your art on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, whatever it is, but they don't know how to contact you. And so as a result, they don't contact you. The idea that people are going to spend 20 minutes of their time finding your email address on the internet somewhere so that they can contact you and then buy your work is complete other BS. They are not going to do that. And even if you put your email address in your bio, very clear for people to say, there are a lot of other ways that you're not making yourself available. For example, not commenting back on the comments that you're getting. If you're a beginner and there are seven comments underneath your post and you don't reply to any of them or just a like thing or like a heart or whatever you would reply, that's not enough. If people see that you're not replying to comments, chances are that they're not going to bother sending you an email because they think you are also not going to reply to that email. And even if you make yourself available for interaction, for contact, then expecting sales from that is still a little bit strange because that's just not how sales happen. Recently, I asked artists, a couple of hundreds of them, how many of them offer their art for sale at some website, somewhere, online, whatever. And the majority of them, I don't remember the exact numbers, like 78%, 82%, 84%, something like that. The majority of them did not put their art up for sale yet. And so how are you gonna sell art if you don't put it up for sale? That's an other way to not make yourself available. These types of practices limit the amount of sales that you can get to nearly zero. And again, it's the 21st century. There is no reason to not know how to sell your art, to not know how to put your art up for sale on the internet. You can ask ChatGPT, you can go to Google, you can go to YouTube, whatever platform you prefer, and then get the information that you need. Now you might be thinking by yourself, well, Dries, this is all good and well, but how do I transform my art into that $1 bill instead of that pile of shit? You didn't really actually explain that. And for those people I have good news, I have a whole playlist how to sell your art where I explain every single thing imaginable. You don't have to watch it, but the link is in the description and the end screen. That's it. Get the hell out of here.